It's week 12, the Packers are 4-5-1. and one. They haven't won a single game on the road yet, but players like Tremont Williams and Clay Matthews have said, it's not gonna be easy to make the playoffs, but it's doable. The fans, well, I've seen some comments that aren't nearly as positive. So pick a side, how are you choosing to live while the Packers teeter on the bubble of making the playoffs? Maybe you're a bit concerned after the Packers blew leads to the Seahawks and the Rams. Maybe you've seen the Packers situational football stats entering Thursday. 19th in the NFL converting 38.4% of their third downs, 14th in red zone efficiency with touchdowns on 59.3% of their trips, and second to last in net penalties with minus 21. And maybe you're worried that Aaron Rodgers isn't the quarterback he used to be. Yes, he's on pace to throw for a career high 4,916 yards with 30 touchdowns and two interceptions, but maybe his 61.8 completion percentage isn't gonna cut it for a playoff push. Okay, but maybe the fact that the Packers even had leads against the Rams and the Seahawks is meaningful. Aaron Rodgers is still Aaron Rodgers, and the Packers have some high-end talent in Devontae Adams, David Bakhtiari, Aaron Jones, and many others. Entering Thursday, the Packers are third in the NFL with 34 sacks, with 15 different players having at least half a sack. Aside from the Vikings and the Bears, the rest of the Packers' schedule features opponents with likely no shot in making the playoffs. And at the moment, the Packers are only one game out of the final NFC wildcard spot. There's a lot of football left for the Packers, but there's a lot of work to be done. How are you feeling about the team? Tweet me at Reiner Olivia to let me know which mentality you're choosing for the rest of the season. For PackersNews.com, I'm Olivia Reiner.